When Christ was on the earth, he established his church, the Church of Jesus Christ. Have you ever wondered what happened to that church and why there are so many different Christian churches today? Let's find out. This is Joseph Smith and the Restoration. Made simple. In the Bible, we read about prophets such as Moses, Abraham, and Isaiah. God communicated with these prophets, who in turn taught the people and gave them important spiritual instruction. Through this process, known as revelation, the people were able to understand God's will. However, we also read that at times the people chose to disobey God and ignored or even killed his prophets. During these times of wickedness, the people lost this line of communication with God. The periods of spiritual enlightenment when prophets are on the earth are known as dispensations, and the periods of spiritual darkness when prophets are not on the earth are known as apostasy. This cycle repeats itself many times throughout the Bible. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ began his ministry, he took on the role of prophet, delivering God's message to those willing to listen. This event marked the beginning of a new dispensation. Jesus called twelve apostles and established his church. But eventually, the people rejected Christ and killed his apostles and followers. The world was once again without a prophet and in a period of apostasy. Although Christ's church was destroyed, his teachings remained. However, as time passed, people began to disagree about the meaning of those teachings. As a result, many different churches were formed, each with a slightly different interpretation. And none of these churches had the complete original truth, much like a puzzle that's missing a few important pieces. But like always, God would eventually call another prophet to lead his people. Fast forward to the year 1820 in the town of Palmyra, New York. A 14-year-old boy named Joseph Smith found himself in the midst of a period of religious excitement. Those around him were attending revivals and choosing which church to join. Joseph visited many different churches with his family, but didn't know how to choose between them. One day, while reading in the Bible, Joseph came across James 1.5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Following this counsel, Joseph went to a secluded spot in the woods near his home and began to pray. In answer to his prayer, God and Jesus Christ appeared to Joseph and told him to join none of the churches, because none of them had the complete truth. After several years of preparation, Joseph was called to be God's prophet, and to reestablish Christ's church again on the earth complete with all his original teachings. This event is known as the Restoration. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints claims to be the re-established original Christian church, and its members believe that prophets are again on the earth, leading God's people through direct revelation. Knowing this, you can imagine why Mormons are so anxious to share their message with the world. If you'd like to hear more about this message, please visit mormon.org. And for more fun and educational videos on the Mormon faith, please visit mormonsmadesimple.com.